I have a really bad migraine this morning, like really bad. Uh. Aspirin. Do what you can for yourself to help feel better. If you can't feel better, put yourself to bed. Is what I don't always say, but I'm gonna say it today. Cheers. I'm feeling a little bit of pain today. I think I might be about to start my period. All right, so I did in fact start my period for the fourth time this month. Hello, internet friends. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Michiwi and I'm on a weight loss journey. More specifically, a get over my fat loss plateau journey. And this is week three. But before I go too far into all the details or the recap, I wanna wish you guys a very happy spooky season. So first, I got a couple things from Dollar Tree. Can you see it? Not really. It's fun. I think it's cute, if not just a little crooked. And then I also got this guy. So, all right, you guys can't really see the little details. I, I see that now in my viewfinder here. That's fine. You know it's there and I do too, so it's there. I'm gonna say that the little trinkets I got and the progression into autumn, which signifies spooky season for me, kind of fits on theme for this week's recap. It was a bloody mess, a horror show in and of its own. I struggled constantly this week and I never stopped mentioning my period. My period. My period. Period today. I am getting really sick of my period. My period. My period. My period. I'm just struggling a bit. And seven days later, I am still on it. So it's been a struggle, but it's getting a little better. The best I could do was pay attention to my macros and fight the cravings that I was having. All right, so I am in the midst of cooking. I'm gonna have my usual sweet potato, four fried eggs, and some spinach and ketchup. I got some Ratio Trio Keto Friendly Strawberry Yogurt. 15 grams of protein, three carbs, one sugar. 200 calories. Contains live and active culture, so this is a probiotic. 15 grams of fat, that's good. Uh, didn't bring a spoon. I have tried Okinos before and I hated it. Yeah, this tastes just like Okinos, I don't like it. I, I do prefer regular Greek yogurt and then adding blueberries or strawberries to it. Too artificial flavoring, so I'm glad I only bought one. It is supposed to be some people's favorites, like a lot of people like it, so I'm not gonna say don't try it, but don't be surprised if you try it and you don't like it. Okay, real quick, so that you guys can hear me out on this. This right here is 200 calories for 150 grams with 15 grams of protein for 170 grams, that's 20 more grams. It's 100 calories and I get 17 protein. <laughs> so I get more, I get more protein. It is sour, it is sour. Seven carbohydrates, okay? This is three carbs. So yes, there are more carbohydrates in this and then I do add blueberries. But the blueberries at most are another 80 calories. With this and blueberries, it's still less calories than this, and I still get more, and I still get more protein and fiber because blueberries have a bit of fiber in them. And fat and protein, like very minimal, but it's still there. I'm gonna choose this. One, it's gonna have less containers, like these single serving things are worse for the environment than this one is. They're both recyclable. This is just in a bigger container, and I can get more uses out of it. And then on top of it, it tastes better. I can use it in smoothies. I would not put this in a smoothie. No. Try using plain Greek yogurt and mixing it with fruit and see how you like it. I also add a teaspoon of sugar sometimes if it just isn't hitting right, if the blueberries don't taste ripe enough, etc., etc. But it is important to experiment. I experimented, I hated it. I now know I prefer this. I have to prep some mushrooms and onions and some of you guys may have complications with cutting an onion, so we're gonna do that today too. I'm gonna sneak in a little onion cutting tutorial for you. First thing, you need your cutting surface. I like these because once everything is diced, I can fold it and just slide it into my pan. Next, you're gonna take your onion and there's two ways you could cut this. You could cut it from stem to stem like that or you could cut it in half, depending on what kind of onion you want. 
If you want circular, you want to cut it horizontally like that. And if you want diced, or if you want more restaurant style, you want to cut it stem to stem. Then you want to nick off one of these stems. You're going to see a little layer here. I like to peel off that first layer because it doesn't taste good. It's never fully ripened correctly. All right, here we go. Rinse off your knife. All right, so this part that you have nipped off is flat. Depending on the style you want, you could cut it in three parts. One, two, three. Make very thin. And you should be holding it like that, but I'm, I'm just used to going like this. I should be holding it like that, but whatever. And just very thin. And those are your slices. I like them diced. I'm just gonna add cuts along the edge here. Now, if you can see, I hold back as much as I can. This is what's left over. There you go. Half an onion diced. One and a half more onions to go. Don't forget to cry. The tears are the most important part because it shows you made it with love. This week has been hard for me. I feel very much like throwing in the towel on everything that I'm doing. And I just want to be like in bed for days. Maybe I just can't see the answer right now because I don't feel like seeing the answers. I'm gonna go enjoy this though. The best I could do was pay attention to my macros and fight the cravings that I was having. And by the end of the week, I, I was at 155, which is a 0.8 increase in my weight. So not horrible considering how bad I was struggling, but it, it did bring up some emotions. Normally I show you guys all my weigh-ins throughout the week. I didn't do that this week. I have one weight, I have a progress fix, and I have the scale that I ended on because of the fluctuations so much, it, it's pointless. Although I was checking it every single day and recording it on my app, I didn't want to make the extra step to record it visually because I know that it doesn't matter at that point. It was more of me just checking and making sure that there wasn't a huge jump because I was allowing myself to eat in a way that I normally wouldn't if I wasn't having hormone changes, cravings, bloating, and lots of pain. So I would say that I got over the week pretty good. I still don't see differences in my progress pics. That is fine. Sometimes it takes months and months to see the difference, even if you are making progress. I'd say this week was mostly about reminding myself to be kind when I need it. And a day of giving into my cravings doesn't mean that everything stops. It's not a new day one for me. It is probably, I think, over 375 days at this point. And if you look at it in those many days, I've been doing really well. So even though there were some emotional times and some times that I didn't feel great about myself and yeah, there were times where I was like, screw it, I'm throwing in the towel. I didn't. I kept with it. I paid attention to my food. I tried to do as much as I could for myself and I took care of myself when I needed it. The big picture is I have lost 55 pounds. I have made significant changes to my diet. I am doing so much more on my exercises. I am learning, I am studying, I am adjusting, and I'm remaining consistent. And even though the skies may be getting darker, there are still sunny days ahead. If you guys are struggling, I wanna remind you to take care of yourselves. It doesn't have to be a new day one. It can be week 13, and in those 13 weeks, you had one day where you needed a day of rest. I've had to have plenty and I'm still making progress. And as long as you guys are still trying, it's progress. Thank you guys again for joining me on my plateau journey. And I hope you are just as excited as I am for week four. And with that, I will see you guys soon. Bye.